All right, uh, I'm Mike with Century Fire Protection Newell's Motor Training for the uh, Avalon Project. Uh, we're in Stair 7, Building 3000. What we have here, these are your dry systems. These are located throughout the building. Obviously, we'll get more in detail to that. Um, how this system works, this is basically an added system up in an unheated space where obviously you don't want water in the event of a freeze. So how this works is you have air on your system at all times. Your air compressor keeps you know, your system pumped up to the set pressure. If at any time one of these heads blows, in the event of a fire, that bowl pops, what it does is it's going to release the air and allow the water to flow up through. You basically have a clapper mechanism inside of this valve. Air on top, water on the bottom. Air pressure releases, opens the clapper, there you get your water. We do those, like I said, in the event of uh, were to freeze in an area subject to freezing. That's how we protect those areas. But uh, you'll know this thing is tripped when two things, obviously, your alarms are going to be going off. You'll be reading to your panel saying that you have something wrong with your dry system. And then your gauge, your air gauge, will be in what we call retard. The gauge will be all the way paid out, basically. And you'll have water coming out of this area right here, draining into this cup. That's how you'll know your system's true. This is your main shutoff valve for that system. This is how you stop the water. In the event of the system tripping, only by instruction from somebody like myself or with Century to shut this down because obviously you want the fire department showing up in the event of something happening. But if you're instructed to do so, how you would shut this down, you close this valve, this would be your main drain to get your water drain. Any questions? No? <clears throat> no? Alright, let's go look at the wet system. 